Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Hope y'all having a God bless Wednesday afternoon. I am. I hope that everyone is well. I hope this is a great day for you. This is a beautiful fall day. It's nice and cool and crisp outside today. I took Nori to school this morning and he was shivering a little bit. He wanted to know, well, geez, why is it cold out here? I said, well, baby, it's fall. He said, oh, yeah, okay, fall. <laughs> so, anywho, in the morning times, I guess this sound in the top 50, so maybe 60 somewhere along in there. But it was a nice and brisky punch. The air felt so good and so clean. I just put the lid on the screen uh, I'm going to leave them off a little bit. And I'm going to turn it all the way down. I don't want them to get started. Okay. Then when I get just about done, I'll put that lid back on. But what I'm doing now is sauteing these potatoes, onions, and green peppers. I got some confetti peppers I'm going to put in here in a minute to add some color. And I've got some carrots. I sort of cook those carrots ahead of time. Because carrots sort of take a little bit longer to cook. And I want to make sure. And then you can get the most flavor out of them, in my opinion, when you sort of cook them by themselves and then add them in. So I got me some carrots off to the side. I'm going to be putting it in there. This going to take about 15 minutes on this. Because those potatoes, I want them to cook pretty good uh, so that I can uh, get them going and get them nice and soft. Then I'll add my mushrooms. Then I'll add my, I'm going to put the mushrooms in and let them saute as well because you know they make water. So I'm going to put those mushrooms in and sort of toward the end. But I'm going to keep this heat up high. Uh, and I can because my oil is allowing me to do so. Okay? But this is a good start uh, pot for beet stews. I mean, these are the same vegetables that you would use in beet stews. The only thing I don't have in here so far is the uh, carrots. So we're just going to sort of let that cook for a little while, and then we'll come back. And by the time I come back, hopefully it'll be able to uh, be ready for me to add the other ingredients. Uh, also, with these, uh, with the dinner today is going to be this uh, meatball beef stew and some green beans, and I've got some pita bread rounds that I'm going to put garlic and butter on. I'm just going to sort of heat those up a little bit, and that's going to be dinner. I was going to do rice, but since I got potatoes, we we'll let that do. I hope you all are having a God-blessed day today. I hope that you have had the opportunity to greet someone today, uh, or to meditate, or to have uh, prayer time. Or get into communication in a positive way somehow, you know. Some people go all day long and don't uh, have the opportunity to meditate or to get into a um, conversation or communication with anybody. And that's not, that's really a, not a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Really, everybody should have the opportunity to be able to communicate and, and be in right relationship. I'm going to lower that heat a little bit because I want these potatoes to cook and I don't want all my oil to cook out and I don't want to add any more oil. I don't know if I tell you I add about a fourth or a cup of oil to the bottom of my skillet. And again, these uh, pieces cook so well that I just get so excited when I'm cooking because it makes it feel like it's just real easy breezy cooking. Okay, stir my beans here a little bit. And in a few minutes, I'll give them a taste to make sure that they are properly seasoned. I haven't looked at a whole lot of news today. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot that's going on. Because, you know, some days I have to back off of it and give myself a break from the news. I think these things are some days just a little bit too much going on for me. So... I hope everything is well. I hope nothing new is happening. We're still praying for people with the virus, and we're still praying for people to go ahead and get their vaccinations. We're still praying for families who are still struggling through the weather uh, from, you know, weeks ago. And we're just praying, you know, all the way around completely, period. We just praying because we've already established that we need to pray without ceasing for our sisters and brothers and for ourselves to make it through this life. Okay, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning to my pan. 
Okay. I thought I had fresh garlic. That's what you get for thinking. I didn't know, obviously. So, I'm going to have to make a trip back to the store to get some fresh garlic. The fresh garlic, now this would have been better with fresh garlic. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put me a teaspoon of uh, the granulated garlic in here. Got to have some garlic in there. And then I'm going to put me about a teaspoon of the granulated uh, onion powder. Okay. We're just going to stir them up and let them keep right on cooking. Okay. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. All these veggies mixed all in, sauteing in the pan. And uh, like I say, at this point, we are doing this cooking process. It's actually pulling flavors out of whatever you saute. So this is sort of like a 30 minute meal, I think it's gonna be, yeah. About a 30 minute meal. So y'all hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have added in the mushrooms. So the potatoes are about three quarters of the way done. So the mushrooms are in. They'll give off a little bit of juice and that'll help to cook the potatoes. And then the last thing I put in will be my meatballs. So we're just gonna let those mushrooms go ahead and cook so they can get into the juices and get all that flavor going. So we'll be right back. Okay, everything is in and cooking now. I've even put the carrots in. So uh, I'm gonna let that gravy thicken a little bit. I'm gonna hopefully have some in the bottom of the pan to stick the bread, you know, sort of dip your bread in. I'm, I'm still not going to do rice, and then the meatballs will go in last. So we're going to let that cook about another 10 minutes, but I'm going to cover it. It's so pretty, and it smells just as good as it looks, y'all. So y'all hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, it's time for the meatballs to go in. I think I've got, yeah, got enough liquid in there to go ahead and get them all heated. This is what it's going to be, or I'm going to put the lid on because those meatballs are frozen. So go ahead and put the lid on. That way they'll get all nice and thawed and get every, every bit of that juice to get in there. Oh, that music y'all hear, y'all don't lay no claim to it. That's the TV. Let me turn it off. Yeah, I'm looking at something on TV. Y'all know I'm watching TV. And that music, it's crept up on me. But I don't lay any claim to that music. It just happened to creep up on my TV. Okay, so y'all, I, I didn't realize I had so many meatballs. So this is going to be loaded up with meatballs. So let us do this. We're going to put the lid back on. And let them continue to cook. And in about 10 minutes, this dinner is going to be ready, y'all. Okay, y'all, everything is ready except for the bread. And I'm drizzling this with a little bit of sweet and sour sauce. Ooh, it's bringing it, it's bringing it. Just not mix it all over, but just drizzle, drizzle a little bit. And I'm going to set the lid back over and let it just stick there for about five minutes. Mmm.
Okay, y'all. Everything is ready. Let's unveil. That is my meatball and veggie stew. Green beans. Let's see. Okay. Meatballs, veggie. Okay, I've got in there. I got meatballs, potatoes, bell pepper, onion, celery, all sautéed, steamed, and ready to eat. Green beans, stewed green beans and onions, tires of green beans. And that is my pita bread with uh, garlic butter. And of course, back on the back, gotta have a little extra veggie back there. So that's onions, tomatoes, and cucumbers. So we get ready to sit back, relax, and partake of this beautiful, wonderful, quick, on the table, and 30 minute meal, y'all. So listen, guys, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Continue to pray without ceasing, being kind to someone, a note a kind word, a text, or if you can stop by somebody to see them, stop by, bring them something to eat, do whatever you have to do. This world needs more things to make people happy these days, so I advocate to doing that. So, anywho, y'all, y'all get in the kitchen and cook something good, and until I decide to cook again, which will probably be, let's see, what's today? Wednesday. Oh, Thursday. I guess I'll be cooking another time this week before the weekend. So guys, I love y'all. Thank y'all for your comments, compliments, well wishes, and especially your prayers. Please, please, please continue to pray without ceasing for all the things that's going on in this world today. Until I decide to cook again, love ya. Toodaloo!